Hi, welcome to my class. I'm Miss Lindsay. Thanks for coming. I'm so glad you joined us. All right, we're gonna say hello to each other in a song. Should we try it? Hello to you, hello to you, hello everybody, hello to you. When I say hello to people, I like to look them in the eyes. Do you? Let's try, hmm. Does that sound like another song that we know? It sounds like the same tune as Happy Birthday. I love singing Happy Birthday to people when it's their birthdays. Let's try to put two candles in our cake today. But oh no, the frosting is a little bit thin, so the candles might not stick. We might have to try three times, and it sounds like this. <clears throat> Can you try that? Ready? <gasps> First try. <clears throat> Second try. Third try, oh good, they're stuck nice in the cake. Let's blow them out, ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to our class. Is it really our birthday? No, so funny. Happy birthday to you. Do you know how to say hello in Chinese? It's ni hao. Let's pat our laps while we sing Ni Hao. Ready? Ni Hao to you. Ni Hao to you. Ni Hao, my friend. Ni Hao to you. Fast lap pats at the end. Great. Do you know the sign for sing is this? Let's try. Sing with me in music class, in music class, in music class. Sing with me in music class. We sing, 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 and clap. Clap with me in music class, in music class, in music class. Clap with me in music class. We clap, clap, clap. How about rain fingers? Rain with me in music class, in music class, in music class. Rain with me in music class, we rain, rain, rain. Hey, it rained, and let's put on our galoshes, and then we can go splash around in the puddles, ready? Splash with me in music class, in music class, in music class. Splash with me in music class, we splash, splash, splash. Oh, did you hear the thunder? <gasps> Maybe you're afraid of the thunder, like my little girls are. Let's go hide, ready? Hide with me in music class, in music class, in music class. Hide with me in music class. We hide, hide, hide. Piano, soft. Great job. Thanks for hiding and singing with me. Bag of wonders. I wonder what's in our bag today. Let's see. Well, first of all, this is an instrument bag that is holding my ukulele or ukulele and it is made out of knock knock wood and it has one two three four four strings on it i started learning the ukulele about a year ago and i've had lots of fun trying to learn the chords and strumming all right next in our bag of wonders what i've got a shoe a shoe one just just one shoe in my bag and look how big this shoe is it's so big. This is my son Seth's shoe, and it's a size 14. What size are, are your shoes? Let's see. I wonder why Seth's shoe is in there. Maybe he'll visit us today. And it looks like I've got a little bag full of puppets. I've got a little mouse, squeak, squeak, and a frog, ribbit, and a shark, and we'll look at all those later. Looks like a fun bag of finger puppets. And... Ooh. This is called a rain stick. It sounds like rain, doesn't it? Cool. All right. Oh, and we've got a cloak. Not only any cloak, but it looks like a Harry Potter Hogwarts cloak. See the symbol? Cool, we get to be wizards today. And, oh, hi, Mr. Owl, Mwah. I've missed you. And we've got our bells 
to play on our bells and make our scales. We've got some trains, and we've got a book, I'll Love You Forever. Do you know this one? I love reading it to my kids, and my mom used to read it to me too. And another instrument today is our train whistle. And then on our small pouch, we have my phone for friends who sent me messages. Thank you so much. And is that all? Nope. We have a egg shaker. Shake, shake, shake. Yellow egg shaker today. All right, so I'm gonna put this all away and we'll get started on our super fun class. It looks like my friend sent me some messages. Thank you. I'm excited to see the cool moves that they did and that we get to copy. Are you ready? Let's do Elijah first. All right, here's Elijah. Hey, hey, look at Elijah. Can you copy, copy Elijah? All right, let's try it. Hey, hey, look at Elijah. Can you copy, copy Elijah? Thanks, Elijah, those were good moves. All right, let's see who's next. All right, Sophia, it's Sophia's turn, ready? Hey, hey, look at Sophia. Can you copy, copy Sophia? Let's do it again, ready? Here's Sophia. Hey, hey, look at Sophia. Can you copy, copy Sophia? Aw, oh, thanks Sophia, I like the choices you made. All right, next we have Jillian. Okay, Jillian, here we go. Hey, hey, look at Jillian. Can you copy, copy Jillian? Nice, let's try, ready? Hey, hey, look at Jillian. Can you copy, copy Jillian? Thanks, Jillian. All right, next we have Haven. Haven, cool. All right, here we have Haven. Let's watch her, ready? Hey, hey, look at Haven. Can you copy, copy Haven? Let's try, ready? Hey, hey, look at Haven. Can you copy, copy Haven? Thanks, Elijah, Sophia, Jillian, and Haven for sending in those videos. We really liked seeing the choices you made and it was fun copying you. If you ever want to send us a video, you can send it to this address right here and maybe we can copy you too. All right, let's go ahead and, hmm, what makes this sound? <laughs> Do you know? This is a train whistle. Do you see the cute red train with the engine car and one, two cars behind it? Let's listen to the sound it makes, ready? Again. This train whistle is made of wood and it has four holes on the sides on the corners. One, two, three, and four. It has one mouth hole on the top that splits into the four sections below to make the cool sound. But what if you don't have a train whistle? You can still use your bodies. Ready? We're gonna make our own train whistle. Woo, that was loud. All right, here's our own train whistle. Ready? You wanna try with me? Ready? How about a baby train whistle? Ready? Whoa! Can your voice go that high? How about a grandpa train whistle? Ready? Hoo, 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 hoo. Nice. Do you think your fingers could make a train track? Try to use two fingers to make a train track and our other hand is gonna travel along the train track making a chick 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 Can you make that sound with your mouth? Chick 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 ready? Chick 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 Good, let's try the other hand two train tracks, and then our train travels on it like this. Can we make a fast train? Fun. I like to see what sounds my mouth and my lips and my teeth can make together. All right, we have um, a chant called engine, engine number nine, or engine, engine number nine. Ooh, which way do you wanna do your nine? 
practice. Ooh. <laughs> engine, engine number nine. We're gonna do it, ready? How many trains are on our beat map? Let's count them, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are four trains on the top and four trains on the bottom. And you know that four plus four equals eight. All right, but this is called engine engine number nine, not number eight, kind of confusing, sorry. Here we go, we are going to point to our trains. Here we go. Engine, engine number nine, going down Chicago line. Should the train fall off the track, will I get my money back? Yes, no, maybe so. Yes, no, maybe so. All right, let's do it again, ready? Engine, engine, number nine, going down Chicago line. Should the train fall off the track, will I get my money back? Yes, no, maybe so. Yes, no, maybe so. That would be scary if the train fell off the track, right? Should the train fall off the track? Oh no! Will I get my money back? Or will I get my teddy bear back? Or will I get my blanket back? Yes, no, maybe so. Yes, no, maybe so. Hoo, hoo, baby train whistle. Grandpa train whistle, hoo, hoo. Great, thank you, that was cool. Doing engine, engine number nine, or engine, engine number nine. <laughs> okay, oh, we get off the train and who do we see? It's Johnny, oh, he's here working. He must be trying to fix up the train station. Maybe the trains need some more nails put in. Let's try to help him. Do you remember that Johnny has five hammers? Whoa, be careful, don't fall over when you get to number five. Here we go. Johnny works with one hammer, one hammer, one hammer. Johnny works with one hammer, then he works with two. Johnny works with two hammers, two hammers, two hammers. Johnny works with two hammers, then he works with three, three. You gotta stand on one leg and then move the other one up and down, ready? Johnny works with three hammers, three hammers, three hammers. Johnny works with three hammers, then he works with four, like marching. Johnny works with four hammers, four hammers, four hammers. Johnny works with four hammers, then he works with five. Five, use your head and be really careful. Johnny works with five hammers, five hammers, five hammers. Johnny works with five hammers, then he goes to sleep. Oh, wake up, Johnny, wake up, you're not done with your job. Did you know that after work, Johnny likes to go hunting snails? That's kind of a strange hobby, right? He likes to look for snails. Maybe they're on the ground, maybe they're hiding under the bushes, maybe they're in the trees. Oh, I see one! Should we get it? Should we get it out of the tree and put it in our hand? Let's try it, ready? Get the snail and put it on your hand. And we're gonna use our two fingers and they are gonna be our little snail. We get to make a snail trail. Snail trail, that rhymes, right? We're gonna make a snail trail on the palm of our hands, ready? Snail, 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 go around and around and around. Well, oh, that kind of tickles. Should we have it go the other way, ready? Snail, 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 go around and around and around. Ooh, it kind of tickles. Oh, look, I see another snail over here on this tree. Let's get it, ready? Oh, we have to pull it off. Sometimes the slime is kind of sticky. Let's put it in our other palm of our hand. Two fingers are gonna make our circle, ready? Snail, 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 go around and around and around. 
Oh, I think our snail wants to make a new trail the opposite direction. Let's try. Snail, 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 go around and around and around. Snails move really slowly. Let's try singing it one more time. Can you make a snail trail in the air with your two fingers? Or you could do one finger. Let's do two or one. You get to choose. Ready? Snail, 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 go around and around and around. Wow. Oh, oh, are your hands feeling a little bit slimy from all of those snail trail marks all over our hands? Let's wash them. Can you copy me? Ready? Wash, 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 wash. Washity, wash, washity, wash. Washy washy wash 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 great oh I think our hands are all clean now but oh we gotta dry them we gotta dry them ready dry them up high dry them down low dry them behind you then dry them slow Oh, mine are still a little bit wet. Let's try that again. Dry them up high, dry them down low, dry them behind you, then dry them slow. Okay, now that our hands are nice and clean, let's see if they remember the A, B, C's in American Sign Language. We've been working on learning the different letters with our hands. We only have four letters left. They are W, three fingers up, W, X, one little curved finger, Y, and Z. We draw the Z in the air. Ready? Here we go. A, with a thumb on the side, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N O P Q R twisty S thumb in front T one finger over T U V W X Y and Z Now I know my ABCs Yay! Next time won't you sing with me? Let's sing it again. And you think your other hand can do it too? Trick your hands. Let's try them, ready? A, B, C, D, D, straight fingers up, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Yay! We did the whole alphabet. Yay! Good job, you guys. Let's do it one more time, a little bit quicker. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Bah, 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 bah. Nice job, you guys. You got it. You learned your full ABCs in American Sign Language. I'm so proud of you. Thanks for your hard work with your fingers and your hands. What sound was that that I just made? Bah, 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 bah. It's a chicken, right? Do you know that chickens, if you're a boy or a girl or a baby, 
have different names. Well, if you are a dad or a male, a man, chicken, you are called a rooster, right? Rooster. And a mom, chicken, is called a hen. And a little baby chicken is called a chick. Cheep, cheep, cheep. I know a song that's called, Oh, I Love My Little Rooster. I kind of changed the words a little bit so that we could talk about the full chicken family. You ready to do it with the ukulele? Okay. All right, here's my ukulele or ukulele and it has one, two, three, four, four strings on it. It's a nice small stringed instrument. Ready? Oh, I love my little rooster and my rooster loves me. I'm gonna cherish my rooster neat the green bay tree. My little rooster goes, what does the rooster say? cock a doo 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 Next is the hen. Oh, I love my little hen and my hen loves me. I'm gonna cherish my hen neat the green bay tree. My little hen goes cluck cluck. My little rooster goes, what does he say? cock a doo 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 And a little chicken is called a chick. Oh, I love my little chick. My chick loves me. I'm gonna cherish my chick neat the green bay tree. My little chick goes cheep cheep. My little hen goes cluck cluck. My little rooster goes, what does he say? cock a doo 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 what about when the chick is in the egg? Does it make a sound? I think it's gonna be a rest. Oh, I love my little egg and my egg loves me. I'm gonna cherish my egg neat the green bay tree. My little egg goes, my little chick goes cheep cheep. My little hen goes cluck cluck. My little rooster goes, what does he say? Cock a doo 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 doo. Thanks, chicken family. We got to learn about a rooster. Cock a doodle doo. Cock a doodle doo. Could you do it low? Cock a doodle doo. And the hen. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Cluck, 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 cluck. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Or the little chicken. The little chicken is called a chick. Beep, beep, beep. Or cheep, cheep, cheep. However you want to do it. Great. Do you remember what this instrument is called? It's called a rain stick. There are little holes inside of this stick and there are beads that have holes in them too and all those holes just help make the sound. These holes help the beads to go through, see? It's really beautiful. My mom bought me this for my boys when they were little. Now they are so big. Do you recognize this song on my bells? Does that sound like our hey, hey? Let's sing it, ready? Hey, hey, look at me. Can you copy, copy me? Those same melody notes are also used for the song Rain, Rain, Go Away. Do you know it? Like our rain stick, a rain, rain, go away. Here we go, ready? Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Should we try singing the colors of our bells for that? Let's try sing teal yellow. Ready? I'll do it slow. Teal yellow, teal, teal yellow, teal, teal yellow, yellow, teal, teal yellow. Now let's try sing the music words so and me. Here we go. So me, so, so me, so, so me, me, so, so me. Now let's sing it with our beat mat. Here we go. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. What if we sing it soft? Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Thank you. When I was little, 
when I was in preschool, I learned a song called, well, I thought it was called Pitcher Patcher. And this is how it goes. We need to be able to make a rain on our laps. Can you make this sound on your lap? Keeping a steady beat, one hand at a time. Pitter patter, pitter pat. Hear the raindrops fall, falling one by one. How many raindrops make a storm? One little raindrop, no, no, no. Two little raindrops, no, no, no. Three little raindrops, no, no, no. Four little raindrops, no, no, no. Five little raindrops, no, no, no. Six little raindrops, no, no, no. Seven little raindrops, no, no, no. Eight little raindrops, no, no, no. Nine little raindrops, no, no, no. Ten little raindrops, no, no, no. Thunder, millions of raindrops make a storm. 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 Pitter patter, pitter pat. Hear the raindrops fall, falling one by one. Fast. Good job. I hope you liked that song. One of my favorites from my childhood. Another favorite from my childhood was Love You Forever a book written by Robert Munch and illustrated by Sheila McGraw. My mom would read this to me. I think it's kind of funny. Here's the front cover of the book. Here's the back cover of the book. Inside the book, there are pictures and words. A mother held her new baby and very slowly, is he small, rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while she held him, she sang, I'll love you forever, I'll like you for always, as long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. He's cuddled up so snug with his mom. And the baby grew. He grew and he grew and he grew and he grew until he was two years old and he ran all around the house. He pulled all the books off of the shelves. He pulled all the food out of the refrigerator and he took his mother's watch and he flushed it down the toilet. <gasps> oh, gross. Sometimes his mother would say, this kid is driving me crazy. But at nighttime, when that two-year-old was quiet, she opened the door to his room crawled across the floor, looked up over the side of his bed, and if he was really asleep, she picked him up, he's a little bit bigger, and slowly rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while she rocked him, she sang, I'll love you forever, I'll like you for always, as long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. The little boy grew. He grew and he grew and he grew and he grew until he was nine years old. And he never wanted to come in for dinner and he never wanted to take a bath. And when grandma visited, he'd always said bad words. Ooh. Sometimes his mother wanted to sell him to the zoo. Not really though, right? But at nighttime, when he was asleep, the mother quietly opened the door to his room crawled across the floor, looked up over the side of his bed, and if he was really asleep, he grew. She picked up that nine-year-old boy and rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while she rocked him, she sang, I love you forever, I like you for always, as long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. The boy grew. He grew and he grew and he grew and he grew until he was a teenager. He had strange friends and he wore strange clothes and he listened to strange music. Sometimes his mother felt like she was in a zoo. Looks kind of crazy in there, huh? But at nighttime, when that teenager was asleep, 
The mother opened the door to his room, crawled across the floor, looked up over the side of his bed, and if he was really asleep, she picked up that great big boy and he grew, right? She rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while she rocked him, she sang, I love you forever, I like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. The teenager grew. He grew and he grew and he grew and he grew until he was a grown up man. He left home and got a house across town. See the moving truck? But sometimes on dark nights, the mother got into her car and drove across town. What's on top of her car? Do you see the ladder? I wonder what she's gonna do. <laughs> if all the lights in her son's house were, were out, she opened his bedroom window, crawled across the floor, looked up over the side of his bed. If that great big man was really asleep, she picked him up and rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while she rocked him, she sang, I love you forever, I like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. You see the cat right there by the window? Well, that mother, she got older. She got older and older and older. One day she called up her son and said, you better come see me because I'm very old and sick. So her son came to see her. When he came in the door, she tried to sing the song. She sang, I'll love you forever, I'll like you for always. But she couldn't finish because she was too old and sick. The son went to his mother. He picked her up and he rocked her back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And he sang this song. I'll love you forever, I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my mommy will be. When the sun came home that night, he stood for a long time at the top of the stairs, then went into the room where his very new baby daughter was sleeping. He picked her up in his arms, she's small, and very slowly rocked her back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while he rocked her, he sang, I'll love you forever, I'll like you for always, as long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. The end. Isn't that a sweet story? Did you see what happened in the book? How the little boy grew and he grew and he grew. He started off as a baby and then he was a two-year-old and then he was a nine-year-old boy and then he grew into a teenager and then he moved across town and then the mother got very old and very sick and he took care of her. I really love that. That's what families are supposed to do. We take care of each other and then he also had his very own little baby daughter. What's that sound? Did you hear it? Someone's at my door. Who is it? Come on in. Oh, it's Hi. Seth. Hey, Seth. You guys, Hi. this is Seth. He's my oldest and he is 13. You might not believe it yeah. because he's taller than me. <laughs> and sometimes kids are taller than their parents, right? Maybe someday you'll be taller than your parents. Uh, the first day that we measured that Seth was a little bit taller than me, yeah. I didn't take it very well. Yeah. What happened? Uh, so I had been asking her, like, am I taller than you? Am I taller than you? And I wasn't taller than her for a while, but when I eventually was, uh, we measured and she started crying. <laughs> I, I started crying because I realized, I think, finally that he was going to be growing up and someday gone and I just love my kids and I want to keep them close to me always and just because they grow up doesn't mean that they have to, that we can't be close but anyway yeah. we'll we'll show you that video right here if you want to take a peek. 
No lie. No way. <laughs> well, tell us no. how you're feeling. <laughs> I don't want them to grow up. <laughs> what just happened? The time you're in um, so That's taller than me. <laughs> <laughs> How does that make you feel? It's like the little girl that's like, can I have a little baby sister? And she's like, so yeah, so you may have thought that it was a little funny that I cried when Seth was taller than me. Um, and yeah. it is funny now. I was that's sad fun. then. Um, baby animals are meant to be bigger and grow just to be like adults, mm -hmm. just like kids. So. Let's play a game with some animals in our bucket. We are going to choose out the animal and see if we know the sound. Okay. Did you do this? I think so. <laughs> okay. All right. So Seth's going to choose an animal out of our bucket. And we shall see. Bum, bum, bum. He chose a? Duck. Duck. When, when ducks get up in the morning, they always say good day. What does a duck say? Quack, 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 quack. quack. And a baby duck is called a ducklet. Duck. I think. Duckling. Duckling. Ducklet. Uh -huh. <laughs> Duckling. Good. Okay. okay. Good. Choose another one. Back and it goes. And you chose a mouse. Mouse. A baby mouse, mouse is. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. We didn't do our research on that. So if you know the answer, you can leave a comment for us. When, when mice get, get up, up in, in the, the morning, morning, they always say good day. What does a mouse say? Squeak. Squeak, 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 squeak. Like a baby mouse might say squeak, 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 squeak. How about a grandpa mouse? Squeak, 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 squeak. Awesome. Okay, let's try another one. I have a few more puppets in there. Okay, the next finger puppet. Do you need help? Oh, I got this. The next finger puppet Seth picked was a dog. A dog. When dogs get up in the morning, they always say good day. What does the dog say? Woof, 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 woof. How about. A puppy, which is a baby dog, it says. <laughs> if it's sad. <laughs> or how about a grandpa dog? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, we've got a couple more. Ooh. 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 What is it? Shark. <laughs> it's a shark. Got it. I okay. Got it. All right. When, when sharks, sharks get, get up, up in the morning, they always say good day. What does a shark say? You can make up whatever you want to. Bubble, bubble. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Bubble, bubble, bubble. What a baby, bubble, baby bubble, shark bubble. would say. <laughs> Grandpa shark. Bubble, bubble, bubble. <laughs> nice bubble. Okay, all right. We've got a couple more. Yes. You chose a? Cow. Cow. A baby a cow, cow is called a? Calf. Calf, all right. When, when cows get up in the morning, they always say good day. What does a cow say? <laughs> nice. You kind of put your tongue by your front teeth. Sounds better. Sounds, sounds, a little, sounds a little more realistic, right? Okay, I'll help you with the last one. <gasps> there you go. Last one. You got it. No. Oh, oh, dropped it, dropped no. it. No, little Go tiger, back. little tiger. <laughs> nice. Seth. Okay. When, when tigers, tigers get up in the morning, they always say good day. What does a tiger say? Roar, roar, roar. And a tiger cub, which is a baby, might say roar, roar, roar. And a grandpa tiger might say roar. roar. Nice. Roar. <laughs> okay, great. Let's put them all back. Bye, little animals. Bye, Bye, little animals. Thanks for playing. So just as people grow from little babies, I remember when I held Seth in my arms, little baby to now big, and animals grow from when they're babies to when they're adults. Um, but sometimes, have you ever experienced death in your life? Have you ever had someone or a pet that was close to you that died before you thought that they might? Um, that can make you feel sad inside. Uh, there was a song that my mom used to sing to me when I was little, and it went like this. It's all right to cry. Crying takes the sadness from you. It's all right to cry. It might make you feel better. So if you've noticed that someone has lost someone that they loved or an animal, um, a way that you could help them maybe feel better is a hug. There's a couple different ways you can do a hug, right? Yeah. You can do a tall hug. Yeah. When someone's taller than you, <laughs> Seth has to do a short hug for me. Yeah. Or like when we give Seth's little sister and my daughter, Natalie, a hug, we have to give her 
small a hug, hug, a little hug, or you could do a side hug. Yeah. Do a side hug, side hug like this, or you could do a hand hug, this. like that. Just give someone a nice squeeze on their hand, help yeah. them know that you care about them, yeah. or you could do a cheek hug. Mm. Mm, that's nice. So when people feel sad, you can help them to feel better by giving a couple different ways you can give a hug and that will help them feel better. Yeah. Um, you could also bake them a treat. Yes. Sure, maybe some hot cross buns. <gasps> mm. Mm, that sounds good. Seth and I are going to try hot cross buns on the bells as a duet. Okay. Are you ready for this? Here we go. All right. Here's the melody for hot cross buns, which you know as Let's sing it together, just the melody, and then we'll have you add the harmony. Ready? You got it? Yeah. Seth's voice yeah. is lower than it used to be, so some of these high notes are higher. Hot cross buns, hot cross buns, one a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. Good, so that was the melody, the main part. Seth is going to play the harmony, mm -hmm. and a harmony are notes that sound good with the melody. Mm -hmm. Ready? Here we go. Hot cross buns, hot cross buns, one a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. The harmonies work together, they make mm -hmm. things sound better, just like when people work together, life's better. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. So I think that we get to do costume time right now. Ooh. Costume time. We might have a visit from a special wizard who has a lightning bolt on his head. Um, we'll see, we'll see. He may show up. I don't know. He may or may not show up. But that would be cool, right? Ooh. All right, we'll see. Whoa, we are ready to do our wizard stew because we are at Hogwarts with our wizards. Yeah. We've got Harry, hello Harry, AKA Luke, and Seth, AKA, maybe we'll call him Hagrid, <laughs> I don't know. What do you wanna be, Seth? Uh, you feeling yeah. like Ron today? Yeah. yeah. Let's go Ron. Let's, Let's go Ron. Yeah. Who doesn't want to be Ron, yeah, right? Ron <laughs> okay, so we're in potions class and we are going to be changing into something else at the end of the song. Mm -hmm. Follow along. We are going to have our spoon to stir, boys. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. And we're going to have a pot and we're going to be stirring, okay? okay. So just follow along. Ooh, it's crafty here in the castle. We usually put on our hats, but since you don't have hats. All right. <laughs> What do we Griffin. see? <laughs> Griffin, no. <laughs> what else do we see here in the castle? Goblins. Goblins. Oh, I forgot. Oh, lady. Our owl. <laughs> the owl. <laughs> Whoa. Here's the owl. Okay. He's our head. And stir, and stir, and stir, and stir, and stir, and stir. We're gonna plop ingredients. And stir, and stir, and stir, plop, plop. And stir, and stir, and stir, plop, plop. And smell, and smell, and smell, and taste. Look. And stir, and stir, and stir, plop, plop. And stir, and stir, and stir, plop, plop. Long smoke. Got something in our stomach. Can you guys feel the potions changing us? Oh, this feels kind of weird. Let's stir again. Maybe it'll go away. And stir, and stir, and stir, plop, plop. And stir, and stir, and stir, plop, plop. And long smell. Oh, our stomach still kind of feels strange. I wonder what we're going to turn into at the end of the class. Hey, how are you doing, Harry? <laughs> And stir, and stir, and stir, plop, plop. And stir, and stir, and stir, plop, plop. And long smell. Hmm, what did we forget to put in our, in our wizard potion, boys? Carrots. Carrots, okay, carrots. What Celery. else? Celery. What about from hot, should we do some chocolate frogs? Yes. Chocolate frogs, what else? Lots of beans. Lots, yeah. okay. <laughs> some, some beans, okay, put them in. Barfly. <laughs> carrots, the carrots. Let's chop up our carrots. The carrots, carrots, the carrots. Let's 
let's put them in the stew. Oh, and the onions, the onions. I know, let's chop up those onions. But they make us cry and sneeze. Achoo! <laughs> and stir, and stir, and stir, and stir, pop, pop. And stir, and stir, and stir, pop, pop. And smell, and smell, and smell, and taste. Oh, and stir, and stir, and stir, pop, pop. And stir, and stir, and stir, pop, pop, and long smoke. Oh no, slow motion exploding stew, hey me. Slow motion exploding stew coming out everywhere, oh no. Slow motion exploding stew. <laughs> Gotta wipe it up. Wipe, wipe, wipe the stew so we don't have a messy classroom. Wipe, wipe, wipe the stew so we don't have a mess. Oh, no, here comes the Wipe, wipe, wipe the stew so we don't have a messy classroom. Wipe, wipe, wipe the stew so we don't have a messy classroom. Oh, shit. your stomach feels strange? Do you feel like you've got magic inside of your stomach? Think about what you're going to turn into the end of the song. We're going to ask you. Let's keep stirring. And stir, and stir, and stir, plop, plop. And stir, and stir, and stir, plop, plop. And smell, and smell, and smell, and taste. Oh, and stir, and stir, and stir, plop, plop. And stir, and stir, and stir, plop, plop. Long smell. We are going to be changing or changing into something. Think about what you're turning into. Whoa. Whoa. I have a tire and another tire. What do you guys have? You have wings. What are you? I'm a chicken. <laughs> You're a chicken? <laughs> I'm the magic flying car. Honk, honk. I have a horn. Oh, so we... a unicorn. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Harry. I'll be the mentor. Thanks, Ron. <laughs> the mentor. Nice. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. We had a lot of fun doing that. We'll stay right here, guys. And we're going to take our little hands on our hearts. And we're going to find a steady heartbeat. Ready? Can you make a steady heartbeat on your chest, just like me? My heart will be blessed with the sound of music, and I'll sing once more. Goodbye to you, goodbye to you, goodbye everybody. I had so much fun with you. Mwah. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>